Hey girl, hey, so 2013 is coming to a close very fast. Actually, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm not exactly sure when this is gonna be up, but within the next few days. So Happy New Year, and with the end of a year comes a reflection of our makeup products. Really, every year I basically do this reflection video top number of 2000, insert number here. So it's like, you know, it changes the year. So this year it's top 13 products of 2013. So there's a tag that was created last year, or maybe it was the year before, by Emily or Sweet BDX. So I'll link her channel down below. Um, but I'm doing it again, like I did last year. It's just like an overview of your favorite products from 2013. And then I just added an extra face product because there needs to be 13. And last year there were 12. So, you know, you get the gist. Let's go. So starting with face products, there's four face products in this category. So first I'm going to start with the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. This stuff is awesome. I never really used a primer before this, but I absolutely love how this goes on. It's so easy to use. You just swipe it on, blend it in, and then I feel like your makeup really sticks to it. Um, so yeah, I've been really liking this. I don't know if it lasts exactly 15 hours, but I don't usually need it to, so it's great. And then next is my Coastal Sense Camel Quad in Medium. And I've been back and forth with this product for a long time. It has four different colored concealers in it. And I use this one the most, the third darkest shade. Um, so I definitely think that, I, I know I didn't like this at one point. I probably talked about how I didn't like it. But I think it's just like getting used to it. It's a very thick consistency, but I think that's great for me at least for under my eyes because I have really bad under eye circles and I have a hard time finding things that not only like hide them, but stay. So this one is really good because it's pretty sticky, which I originally thought was like, ew, like sticky makeup, no thanks. But it like stays on and once you set it with a powder, it doesn't like feel sticky on, so. It's great. I really like this and it's nice because it has a few varying shades too. So now this next one is a little bit towards the closer to the end of the year, but I really, really have found myself liking it a lot. It's heavier coverage than I'm used to, but I like working with it and kind of trying different things out. But this is the Chanel Vaudeville. There's a reason I didn't speak French. So this is really good. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's aqua. So um, as it says, it's like a light coverage, but you can really build it up too, which is nice um, because it's more buildable than past foundations I've worked with. So it's nice because you can blend it out and make it look sheer or you could like, like you know, put it up a little bit more on certain spots that you want to cover more of and it still looks natural and I love the color of this too. So I just love the consistency and it gives a really great like airbrushed finish. Ah, this before are very, very light. Um, and like, that's great, it's a highlighter, but sometimes it's just like too much and you kind of look like a colon family member, which is not what I'm going for here. This one is more of a very subtle shimmer, which I love, and it's like a champagne, like an actual skin color that like when you put it on and blend it out, it just like catches the light right and makes you glow without it being like sparkly white, you know, like it's awesome. And I love how it comes with a sponge tip too, so you can like blend it out and control it more, and it's glorious, glorious highlighter. Now the next category of the tag is two eye products and as I was going through my eye products and thinking about what I used most this year that I loved, I decided to stick with two oldies but goodies because no matter what I try, I always find myself coming back to these two and I figured that it was worth sharing because I consistently use them all the time and I absolutely love them. So first, this is a eyeliner and eyeliner, wow. This is Max Black Track Fluid Line and this is amazing. I honestly don't know why. Like, I tried liquid eyeliners. I found some that work great, but liquid eyeliners just, like, run out so fast, and then they don't have the same effect as they did, like, right when you got them. And this lasts so long. I'm, I started, I probably have kept this longer than I should have, honestly. This is, like, my second one ever, and I got it, like, this is the first product I bought after starting YouTube in 2010. So, um, yeah, because I always use it, I just use a really skinny eyeliner brush and you just brush it on and it glides on and it's so easy to control and I love the finish and it stays all day, which is amazing. It like doesn't flake off like some liquid eyeliners do and I just absolutely love this. So I always put it on my upper lash line um, and then you can kind of like wing it out a little bit if you want to, depending on your brush, if it's easier. Um, and make a thick line or like a thin one right along your lashes and it's just awesome. 
And this product, I've never actually heard of anything like it. Um, as far as I know, there might be some things that are similar. But this is an eyelash primer, and if you watch my makeup tutorials or getting ready videos, you know I use this every single time because I'm obsessed with it. This is the Urban Decay Eyelash Primer Potion, and I was not exactly blessed with the longest of natural lashes, and I don't want to wear fake lashes on a daily basis. So this stuff is awesome because you just put it on right after you curl your lashes and before you put mascara on and let it dry for a minute. And like it just adds so much volume and length to your lashes without you having to layer like 10 mascaras because I used to do that. And it just makes mascara go on so much better and I love how much it helps my mascara because mascara is like I'm obsessed with it. So I want my eyelashes to look good so I need a little bit of a boost. It's my secret. Next we have two lip products which I've tried a lot of lip products this year more than usual because I've been kind of getting into wearing lip products more because I never really did in high school. I do occasionally to, like, to class in college but I have like more nicer things to wear them to and stuff so I've had fun. But I am just going to talk about a lipstick first that I think I got this at LA Imats at the beginning of the year and I had always heard about Lime Crime lipsticks tube is like glorious I must say um and I never really tried one because I heard they're like the colors are like insane and the pigmentation is crazy good so I picked one up at LA Amats and I fell in love with it I'm actually wearing it right now it's this bright like hot pink that I never thought I'd be able to wear it's called Contessa Fluorescent by Lime Crime and it's seriously gorgeous like it's so bright and I love that about it because I don't know, even though it's a bright pink, I find that it's really not like unwearable. Um, I could wear this on a daily basis, just put like a little bit and then brush it out with a lip brush and it looks really good. Or I can build it up and wear it kind of darker like this. Um, and I think it's just a gorgeous color and it's like a bright pink without looking tacky, at least in my opinion. So um, I found myself wearing this a lot this year to have functions that I didn't think I'd be able to and it works. It, it's good. I know what you're thinking. Christy, where's your freaking drugstore product? Ta da! I found one. NYX Soft Matte Lip Color in Lip Cream, excuse me, in Tokyo. And this is so amazing. I love this thing to death. I'm really like a pink lip kind of person, if you didn't notice, because this is like a lighter pink. And I got this. I always wanted to try it. And then I got the my first one was like a red one, um, which I love that one too, but I wear this one a lot more. And I got it, I think, in an Ipsy bag, and I loved how they went on because it's so smooth. It doesn't dry out your lips. It feels like a lip gloss, but it stays on, and it's matte, and it smells delicious. Oh my god, I, it's seriously perfect. And yeah, so I loved that one, and then I was like, well, I should find one that I can wear all the time. So I got this one. They stay on. They feel good. You don't even notice them, really, and it's crazy because it's like a long-lasting lip color, and it smells so good. Ugh, and I, I just, I'm obsessed with this. And our next category is two nail polishes, and neither of these are them. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in my room at my parents' house right now, and I currently live in a dorm in California, and I'm here on break for Christmas break, so I left almost all, I think this is the only thing I brought back, a top coat. I left all of my nail polishes that I brought down there, down there, because I, I have a ton here that I could use. But um, yeah, so both of the ones that I want to talk about are in California, but I'm going to insert pictures of them, so I should scoot over now. Ta -da! This is a Marc Jacobs top coat, but the one I want to talk about is a Marc Jacobs nail polish, like an actual color, in Gatsby. It's this gorgeous champagne. I've always loved the like idea of just like a light tan champagne nail like with a good shimmery finish and I tried a few different ones that are decent but this one it was like the one it's like perfect it's kind of like a rose gold almost because it has like a rosy tint and it's gorgeous I love how it looks on my nails and I love the finish of it and it's just perfect the next one I'm holding is an Essie nail polish this is not it obviously and this one is really cool I just love metallic like, reflective oops, nail polishes so um the one I want to talk about is called for the twill of it and it has like multiple colors and dimensions in it and I love this for the fall and it's just gorgeous so I'll just let the nail polish talk so ooh ah next is two hair products which I left one in California again so back to the lovely handy dandy cameraman over here which is me inserting it in iMovie this is the bedhead 
uh, what is it called? After party. Deadhead after party. If I've always wanted something to like tame flyaways and make my hair look smooth if it's like sticking out in weird places without it being like sticky and then making my hair feel like, you know when you just like have too much product in your hair and it feels like greasy and gross even though it's not like natural grease, it's just gross. And I found this product which does exactly what I want it to do without leaving gross residue. So that rhymes. I use it all the time. Like just to finish off a look, if something's off, something's sticking up, you know, go to the after party. <laughs> I see what I did there. All right, I just like to move on from my horrible jokes and pretend they didn't happen. So next is the Nexus, next, okay. The Moose Plus, I think I just got this in the travel size section at Rite Aid. I wanted it for camp because I wanted to try using mousse in my hair because I couldn't use heat on it or any like anything like that because I lived in a cabin without electricity. So um, I started using this to try and like put it in my hair to make my hair stay more straight when it dried naturally and I absolutely love this and I've never been like a mousse person really. I tried it a couple times but just like it never really stuck with me but like I've actually been able to use this quite a bit in my everyday routine. So it's nice, it keeps your hair in place before you like curl it or straighten it, or blow dry it, and it does a good job without being sticky. Finally, we have come to the last product of the tag. And this one is incredibly predictable. It's one palette and I honestly, I'm really ashamed of myself. No, I'm not ashamed at all, I'm such a follower. So the first year that I did this like top products of this year, I talked about the Naked One palette, and then last year I was looking back at them, and I talked about the Naked Two palette, and this year is no different because I'm talking about the Naked Three palette. It's the best palette I've tried this entire year, and I love it so much. It's definitely my favorite out of the three. I did a whole video talking about it um, with swatches and like comparing it to the Naked One and Two, so I definitely think you should check that out. But it just has the most gorgeous warm pinky colors with like rose gold that work with my skin tone so well. And honestly, like every color of this palette is useful. So I'm obsessed with this and it is definitely topping my list of palettes for 2013. This concludes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of hearing about my favorite products of the year. Let me know what yours were down in the comments below. You can answer the questions themselves. I'll leave them in the... the, 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 the I'll leave them in the down bar so you can answer these in your own video even though it's getting a little late come on um I hope your 2014 is incredible and you do great things with it I love you guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye